So I've been having the most vivid dreams. Last night, I was dreaming about the guy that I was seeing earlier this year. Nothing dirty, nothing dirty, I promise. It was very, very PG, but I'm still like, okay, you're not supposed to be in my life anymore. I always do my actual skincare routine after my workout, but I always have to just like splash my face with water or else I literally feel like I'm still sleeping. <laughs> and then I need to put moisturizer on because my skin will get so dry if I don't. I need to go get some caffeine and I need my pre-workout breakfast. I'm just about to finish reading the last Crescent City book, House of Flame and Shadow. This is the one that just came out. Wow, this book has been so, so good. I feel like I've heard mixed reviews from other people about it, but I truly have enjoyed every second of it. I think like it definitely takes a very skilled author to be able to write so many different storylines happening at the same time. And it still feels natural. And like you're invested in all of the plot lines. It's just, this is just a really brilliant book. I'm so excited to see how it ends. I feel like I haven't really shown my Kindle yet on YouTube. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I have like multiple Sarah J Mass stickers and they're all from small Etsy shops, which is just really cool. If you want to know where a specific one is from, um, let me know and I will reply back with the shop name. I have been absolutely loving reading on my Kindle, but today is leg day, the second leg day of the week. I'm still going strong with my workout routine. I'm seriously just enjoying it so much. I feel like just having the daily routine of like waking up, doing my morning things, like my morning routine, working out, showering, and then getting started with my work for the day. It just like sets my mindset up so well and and I always feel so like happy and energized after my workouts. I can breathe now. I just made my post-workout protein smoothie. This is like the same smoothie that I make literally in every video, but it's just my mango green smoothie. This has like three tablespoons of hemp seeds plus the protein powder, so it has like 40 grams of protein. I am obviously looking a lot more presentable now. I am actually like really excited though that I have been filming more without makeup. I feel like it's just something that can help normalize just like normal bare faces, but also just like on a personal level, I feel like it's always been a goal of mine to feel comfortable and confident without makeup because I've pretty much been wearing it since I was like 13. So it's just nice that I'm finally getting to that point in my life. I am going to get started on editing. This is pretty much what makes up the majority of my days because editing is by far the most time consuming part of making videos. Because this week I actually have to get my video done early because I'm working with a brand on it and they always like to have an unlisted link so that they can make sure that like I got all my points across and all of that kind of stuff. They just have to preview it. That means that I have a slightly tighter schedule this week, but 
all is well i always get things done whenever i'm feeling overwhelmed i just remind myself like i've never not got it done unless it's like i decided i wasn't doing it anyway i'm just yapping at this point so i'm gonna open my laptop and i think i just need like five minutes just to chill because i'm a little shaky right now can i be a great surgeon and have a life Marion? i know you try to have both <laughs> Whenever I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed or just like I, I'm not really in the headspace to work. Specifically with editing, I feel like I need to be in a good headspace. Like I need to be in the right mood to edit. But obviously, you know, if you have deadlines, like you have to make it work regardless. But one thing I always do that always helps is just like focusing on the least offensive task, the least like stress inducing task, the one that I can just kind of like almost mindlessly do. I also just learned that that April is actually PMDD Awareness Month, so I put up some Instagram stories just linking to my videos and talking about my experience with PMDD. I think it's so cool that there's now a month for PMDD awareness, like especially considering I didn't even know what it was for the majority of my life, even though I literally had it. <laughs> actually figure out what I'm gonna say before I start speaking. <laughs> this is an ongoing trend. Anytime I'm either talking to the camera or recording voiceovers, I just start speaking before I've actually formulated a thought. <laughs> So it may not look like a lot, but that actually is a lot of work done. I'm feeling so much better now. I know that probably like halfway through tomorrow, I'll probably have it done, which is a great feeling. I need to go make some food now. I like having early dinners because living in a family of four, um, if I wanna use the kitchen, it's better to just like eat dinner before everyone else does and then I am not getting in anyone's way. <laughs> I do however not know what I'm making for dinner as per usual. up making this little mediterranean quinoa bowl i honestly really need to go grocery shopping so i was just using up what i had i love salad season so much and i feel like now we're starting to get the good tomatoes we're starting to get good summer fruits too which i'm so excited for Bye. 
I feel like I am in need of some journaling right now. I actually haven't been consistent with journaling at all pretty much since the year started, which is really weird because for so many years now, it's been like a daily habit of mine, but I guess it was just kind of like as a result of me doing better in my life, like me having, you know, a much better mental health state and just like having my anxiety under wraps and managed that kind of stuff. Like I was doing really well. I still am doing well, still am doing well. <laughs> But, you know, I took a little hit recently um, and it's just really good to just sit and journal and write out your thoughts. But I remember one of you commenting saying that you're also struggling in the dating world and it was comforting hearing me talk about my struggles in the dating world. In a nutshell, I'm back in my healing era, not meeting new people, not talking to new people, just living in my own little safe bubble. I stepped out into the dating world again and I'm stepping right back. It's really sad. I I did like the person that I was talking to. I don't know what's going on outside my house. I'm really hoping my neighbor does not look up right now. But yeah, the past two weeks have definitely just been about trying to accept the fact that I am likely just gonna be alone for a good long while still. It's definitely just really hard being a lover girl, just someone that craves, or obviously this applies to anyone, like whether you're a boy, a girl, non-binary folk. <laughs> Um, if you are someone that craves like that committed connection, like that life partner bond, it is so hard functioning and trying to exist in today's dating culture. At least I have like a good fun month of dating and actually living life, but you know. for the day let me know if these videos are like fun for you to watch i feel like i live a very very boring life it's a life that i love but it's certainly not the most like eventful <laughs> i don't know i personally love watching videos where people are just living their life at home so i'm hoping that you guys like that content too um but anyway make sure to subscribe while you're here and until next time, I will talk to you in my next video.